Hi guys, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I want to make a wireless trainer for this guy. This guy does not have a wireless trainer. It has this kind. And I wanted to be able to use this as a trainer, which does not have that cable. So I want to find a way to wirelessly connect these two. And I got an idea on the internet. And so I won't take credit. I will put a link to that article. Uh, here's the components that I'm using. I'm using a spectrum receiver. It is a AR6100E DSM2. I'm using a PPM encoder that I got on eBay. The article does not use this one, but it did give me the idea. The reason I'm using this one is because the other one I bought, uh, the signal comes out in the wrong order, the PPM signal. My my uh, radio is expecting T-A-E-R, which is Throttle Aileron Elevator Rudder. And the other PPM encoder that I was using, which is this one, I'll include a link for that as well. The order was coming out as A-E-T-R. So I think I will have better luck with this PPM coder. So I'm going to be pressing pause. I'm going to stick all of this, these components in the box. I have a, a battery as well that's going to power the receiver. The receiver is going to power the PPM encoder. And I'm going to stick all this in that box. So I'm going to press pause. And I'll give you a summary after I make some progress. Okay, so on the receiver side... I went ahead and connected four channels because what that's what this transmitter is it's four channels and these are the colors the uh this one here goes into the throttle the one with the white the orange one goes on the aileron the yellow one goes on the elevator green one goes on the rudder so that's this guy these are just going to be loose and then this side has three conductors so it's black red and white however i'm only going to be using the uh, black and signal the signal being the white on this side it's orange and this is just a, an extension to connect these two because i didn't want to cut this and this is this is the this is what's going to plug into the um, the master. So and then to power this receiver, let me turn the transmitter on. I've already bound it to this transmitter. I created this little. Uh, so here's the two cell battery, and I'm only using the black and the red on this adapter. The black and the red I'm not using the signal here so that's going to power the receiver so on this guy the negative is at the bottom so it's going to go this way so in theory did I get that right is that power on Okay, let me press pause and see what's... Oh, there it is. It's it's plugged in. It's on. Okay, so I'm going to press pause and until I get to the next point in the video. Okay, so I figure that before I put all this stuff in the box, I'm going to go ahead and connect it up. And do a little test. Okay, so... Connect that there. Put this into monitor right there. And I'm going to press the trainer button up here. We'll hold it. And let's try to get both of these in view. So there's the monitor right here. So the throttle, let's do the throttle. And it's not working. 
Okay, let me press pause and figure out what's happening. Okay, so I think I know what the problem is. Um, the PPM coder, PPM encoder, I think it needs more voltage than what this could supply. So I bumped it up to a, a three cell with an ESC. So basically it's these receivers getting five volts and so is a PPM encoder. So let me go ahead and connect it to the back and see if that solved the issue. So here we go again. So uh, trainer, trainer button on, that's throttle. Throttle's working. Uh, aileron, elevator, and rudder. Yay. Works. And I did confirm they're going in the same direction. So, for example, without the trainer button on, I put the aileron to the right. Trainer button on. Aileron to the right. Aileron to the right. Same direction. So let's do trainers off, elevator, pull it back. Trainer on, elevator, pull it back. Same order. Okay. Trainer on, rudder to the right. Trainer off, rudder to the uh, rudder to the right. Yep. Same direction. Throttle. Trainers off. Throttle. Trainer on. Throttle. And they're going in the same direction. So with that, I will end this video because the rest is really just finding a way to neatly organize these and put them in the box. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.